Tonight, our Animals Investigations Unit is fighting for the rhinos, right, Rico? Yeah, little Rico's here with me, a deadly battle being fought in South Africa. Each year, nearly 700 rhinos, these innocent creatures killed for their horns. Poachers are ruthless, killing more than 100 park rangers who dared to get in their way. Well, now there's new hope for the rhinos, and you'll be surprised to find out who it is. But we're so delighted for U.S. Special Forces vets fighting back against these poachers, trying and fighting to save the rhinos. I am so excited, so jazzed to have one of those brave men here now. He goes by Oz. He's a Green Beret, one of the stars of the brand new Animal Planet series, Battleground Rhino Wars. Oz, tell us how you wound up in South Africa and why you're going toe to toe, risking your life. Tell us how you risk your life to defy these poachers and save these rhinos. Hi Jane, hi everyone. Well. Essentially, we were tasked to come out and protect the animals, and we had no idea how big of a mission we had on our hands. We got involved through a, um, a, an animal activist by the name of uh, Peter Lamberti, who owns a production studio in Africa, and he wanted to get the most outspoken, the most brazen, and the most powerful group of people to speak out on behalf of the animals, and so he realized that was the American public. So in doing that, he recruited American special operations to come to Africa and to fight for this animal and portray the story of what's going on. Well, your show is called Battleground Rhino Wars, which is on Animal Planet. Let's take a look at a clip from your first day there. Our first day in South Africa was a real eye-opener. These rhinos are being killed at an alarming rate, more than one a day. That is unacceptable. This is a horror. Why are people so interested in having these rhino horns? Well, it, it roots back to Asian mythology and, and folklore. There's a belief that the, the horn of the animal has some sort of magical healing properties. I'm not the smartest person in the world, but I can tell you that there really hasn't been any evidence to support the keratin, which is the same material you have in your fingernails, can cure any problems. And as I've been telling people, if that were true, we'd all just sit at home and bite our fingernails and none of us would ever get sick. They claim that it cures cancer, well, that it has, has healing agents, and it, and, it, and it simply doesn't. Yeah, and we've got to do something to alert the world that this is a scam. And people get these trinkets and they have no idea. Same thing with elephants. We're going to talk more about what you can do on the other side. South Africa is at war with poachers. Last year alone, it's estimated they lost 100 of their men and 668 rhinos. For this mission, I've recruited a crack team of U.S. commandos. Oz, Green Beret, Medic. The situation here is worse than it can ever be depicted. All right, and we've got another clip for you to check out. It involves a little baby rhino. It's tough to watch, but bear witness so you can do something. The noises you are hearing, the squeaky noises are of this one month old little baby trying to get milk from its mother that has been poached. Wow. Good job. It's very dramatic for this calf. This is gut-wrenching stuff, makes grown men cry. These rhinos are killed for their horns, their babies starve to death and cry. We need to do something. The same thing's happening uh, to elephants, by the way, for their tusks. And, uh, you know, almost 100 elephants were killed two weeks ago by poachers on the African continent, including uh, 30 pregnant elephants. I know there are groups, uh, World Wildlife Fund, International Fund for Animal Welfare and others, and go to my website, we'll tell you what to do. But what should the American public do to stop this? You know, Jane, the big issue here is that you, once you know the truth, you're responsible for it. You've got a team of guys that, that are professionals that have seen some horrific things out there, and they're, they're going into this environment. And I'll, and I'll tell you what, it, it actually does make us a little bit sick. I mean, you're talking about... Navy SEALs and Green Berets, the toughest guys out there. And it is gut-wrenching. And just to give you an idea of how bad this epidemic is, last year they lost almost 700 animals. Ugh. This year, it's only March. There's only been 88 calendar days in this year, and they've lost over 190 animals this year. That's more than two a day. At this um, rate, they're gonna far surpass last year's number. It's exponentially getting worse. We've got, we've, we're out of time, but we've gotta do something, Americans, Stand up for the animals. They can't speak for themselves.